Hello friends, welcome back to Munchy Monday. So this actually isn't gonna be posted on Monday and it is actually technically Friday, but I'm still gonna include it in the Munchy Monday just because it is a typical Munchy Monday video and it also includes all my favorite things and some of my favorite foods to eat on an off work day. So this is my day off, is Fridays and Saturdays. So it includes all of my favorite foods, all of my favorite things, and it's some of the easy kind of convenient foods I can eat quickly. So definitely subscribe and like this video if you enjoy this kind of content. I make similar videos like this on Monday. This week it was a little bit different just because I'm getting used to my workday schedule. I work Sundays to Thursdays and I typically get really really tired working. So yeah, I'm su super excited to show you all the food I'm eating today. I'm really not sure what I'm going to be eating. It's just going to kind of be a made up thing as I go, but we'll see what happens. But I'm super excited because it's always, I always try to eat really, really good food and it's just food I like. I don't follow any kind of specific diet or anything, but I am vegan, so I do eat vegan food, but I don't really consider myself to be a healthy vegan or anything like that. I kind of just eat what I like what I have in the fridge, what's available. I also want to say on here that I am not a dietitian. I'm not a nutritionist by any means. I just like to share what I like to eat and I don't think anyone should compare themselves to what I'm eating. This is just what I like to eat, my taste buds. I just like to share with people just so they have some ideas of what to eat when being a vegan and what kind of options are available and what kind of convenient foods there are and what are the options and if they're tasty or not. I always like to include really tasty food in my videos and I just like to share with you guys things you could try or what I've been liking. So I don't want you guys to compare yourselves to me and I don't want you guys to feel guilty about what you're eating if you're vegan or not. Either way, this is just what I like to eat what I enjoy. For breakfast, I'm having a green smoothie bowl. So it's kale, frozen pineapple, frozen banana, and almond milk. And I topped it with banana, coconut, chocolate chips, pumpkin seeds, and chia seeds. Also, my sister offered to go get us Dunkin', so I'm having an unsweetened iced tea. This is one of my favorite drinks from there. I don't really drink coffee. So for lunch, I'm making a grilled cheese, a vegan grilled cheese. So I butter both sides with that spread, and then I add that cheese on there. I was just using this up. Always make sure there's a lid on top just so both sides cook evenly. I found this sad avocado in the fridge, so I decided to make kind of a guac using some lemons and mashing up the avocado. Trust me, it tastes okay. It wasn't a really bad one, but as long as you add flavor to it, it, it will taste fine. So I always squeeze some lemons over top and mash that all together. And then I add some seasoning. So these are some of the seasonings I used and some pepper and some salt and then the best ingredient is this liquid gold tahini i take the avocado or the guac that i made and i put it onto some kale and i massage it in there so it helps break it down and taste better and also helps digestion and then i served it with some more veggies that i cut up and then the grilled cheese I actually had two grilled cheeses this day with the salad so good. With the rest of the guac, I ate it with some red peppers just to use it up because it was so good. And then also I used some carrots and dipped it in. So as a snack, I'm going to have these unreal dark chocolate covered peanuts. I've never tried these, but they look just like M&M's, but they're vegan. It's a little vegan thing. But I'm excited to try these. They look really good. I'm using these on the ground in my room. But one. These taste exactly like peanut M&Ms. Mmm. Those are so good. Mmm. 
And there's no soy in these. Hmm. Interesting. These are really good. I definitely recommend, recommend these. Mm -hmm. I love I ate so many peanut M&M's in high school. So this is giving me so many memories. Mmm, they're so good. 10 out of 10. Recommend. Okay, so I found these at the store. Too. And I've never had these. And I'm really interested to see how these compare with hippies because I'm obsessed with hippies. Like I will eat the entire bag in like two minutes. And my whole family is obsessed too. Like my mom and I will eat the entire bag of hippies, like a, a really, really big one in like two minutes. So I'm really excited to try these. Let's see how they taste. I deeply apologize for how my room looks. <laughs> I'm literally sitting, literally sitting on my bed. They look just like hippies do. Mmm. <gasps> Those are so good. And they're cauliflower. Mmm. <gasps> Those are bomb. They're like much fluffier softer than I'd say um, hippies are. Mm. Cause if I'm with hippies, I have to drink a lot of water. These are really good. Mm. Oh, hi Katie. Mm. These are definitely good. 10 out of 10. Hey friends, so dinner. I got kava. If you don't know what kava is, it's the best thing ever. Me and my sister got it. We ordered carry out. And I love kava so much. It's so good. It's like a Greek like style chipotle, I'd say. Get all this in here. I got avocado, of course. Kitty wants some, that's harissa sauce on the side. And this is falafel. I'll read you what I got. So at the bottom, I got baby spinach, brown rice, black lentils, then the falafel as my protein with roasted veggies. There's like some sweet potatoes and a couple other things. What else? Um, you get three kind of hummuses or like their dressing. So I got hummus, red pepper hummus, and harissa. I got fire rooster corn, tomato and cucumber, diced cucumber, tomato onion, kalamata olives, shredded romaine, and avocado, and then the spicy harissa vinaigrette on to put on top. Super excited to eat this. And it's so good. Also, I always get pita bread on the side just because it's good to dip in the sauces and the tongs. It just makes it really, really, really good. And my cat is obsessed with avocado. Like, she licks it all the time. So she's just gonna lick this whole thing. And it's so funny. Because if you don't know, cats are carnivores, so they actually can't survive on vegetables. I mean, it's so weird to me. She doesn't eat like any other meat. Like she likes avocado and she also likes spinach and like leafy greens and she like rolls on them and stuff it's so weird she's such a weird kitty <laughs> time to dig in oh i'm so excited to eat all this mm. Mm. that's so good if you have a coven near you Definitely, I recommend trying that. Because mm. as a vegan, I will literally eat hummus, spoonfuls of hummus, all the time. So, hummus and falafel is one of my favorite things ever. 
And then a bunch of veggies. Go to Kava. It is the best thing ever. And Harissa, if you like spicy stuff, it's the best sauce I've ever had, ever. 10 out of 10 recommend. <laughs> I definitely said that way too much in this video. If it's food and it tastes good and I like it, it's a 10 for me, honestly. I love food, I'm such a foodie. So I have this channel. Mom and I are obsessed with Gossip Girl, so I'm eating this while watching Gossip Girl with her. Thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoy this kind of content. Give me a comment down below on what you would order from Kava or what your favorite snacks are or what some things I should try out some vegan snacks or anything else that you would like to see from me, leave it down below. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next one. Bye!